great environment for a women's game. Uh, that's a tribute to to them and to the program. Uh, I thought it was both teams played really, really hard. Obviously for us, our inability to, to shoot the ball continues to haunt us a little bit. But uh, um, we'll learn from it. We'll, we'll get better. And uh, you know, losing to a team like that, uh, there's no shame in that. We just we just we got to play better. They outplayed us. They deserve it. And uh, we got a lot of work to do, but that's okay. That's part of it. Bill, yeah, what's what's a game like this, or just your two teams um, all together with you know with with Caitlin, with Ash, um, with the Iowa High School roots? What's that say? You know, I'm going with this. What's that say for for the Iowa High Schools? No, I I think what. What it says is, you know, there's a lot of really good players in our state. I think there's players like Ash and, and Caitlin that have brought a national presence to women's basketball. Uh, I think this state has always had great high school basketball. I think we've had 90, almost as old as you are, Randy, 90 some. Um, uh, With respect. Uh, and I'm older than you, so uh, girls' state tournaments. So uh, it's it's a great thing. And, and and I've said many times, people at home hear me say it all the time. We have four great. Division one programs in our state, and uh, uh, I think the, the country may have found a little bit. I uh, wish we would play a little better, uh, but uh, it's a great thing for our state, and very proud to be a part of it. What could you pinpoint as the reason for the shooting struggles tonight? Um, you know, I, I really don't know. I, I I think a couple of things. Number one, we were a little hesitant, and and I thought we had some looks, and people passed them up. Um, I think we have a lot of kids that really, really care about their team, and when they miss, they might not want to take the next one. Um, and then, obviously, when you miss eight free throws in a row, uh, that gets in everyone's head. Uh, I don't know that I've ever – I think my grandson Will's team had eight misses in a row once. But, uh, so I think it's a combination of things. And then, and then I thought they defended really well. i, I got to give them credit. They were very, very physical. At the point of attack, and and when we passed up shots, we we kind of played into their defense a little bit more. So um, uh, that's kind of the way I saw it. Now again, I, I don't know exactly, but you know we were capable of making those shots. We're just we're just not doing it, and we haven't done it for for a while. I know you had talked early in the week about like you got to do all the little things right to win a game like this. How did you feel you handled all those little things? Um, I obviously not very well, and that that's my fault. Um, but again, you, you can't miss eight free throws. Um, and I think the other thing that, that really, I think that our team needs to learn from, and, and it obviously needs to be coached a lot better. Is they they made a lot of baskets at the, at the end of the shot clock. You know, whether it was a rebound or they're banking, you know, they're throwing in a three or whatever. But you got to guard through the possession. And and tonight, I thought that was. A very unique part of the game uh, that they, every time we seemed to kind of hang around and something good happened, they would, we'd either miss a free throw or they would throw one in, like literally at the buzzer. And um, you got to finish possessions. They did it, we didn't. And that's that's something I have to coach a lot better. Did you feel pretty good at halftime? That, that, you know, things, did you just make some shots? Or did you yeah, I, I, I mean, I thought, you know, it's 28 to 23, and most people thought that'd be the score in the first quarter. Um, I think both teams, and again, I, th I think both teams played really, really hard, and I think it's a, both teams probably were a little bit uptight, you know, and it's a big game and, and, and a big moment. But, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, that's what I told our kids. I mean, we're, 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 you know, we're in the game for sure after not playing great. I thought I thought we defended pretty well all night except for the end of the shot clock. Um, but when when you had an opportunity to score, we just couldn't get it done. And that was the one thing that we talked about a lot. We got to keep scoring, stop the runs, and um, you know, a missed free throw, a missed layup, uh, whatever, a turnover kind of changes the flow of the game. And to their credit, they they did a lot better than we did. Does it surprise you in a sense to see that kind of uh, I don't want to say lack of confidence, but you had said like so many people passing up shots. I know you've said that in other games too when you have the experience you have coming back. Yeah, it, it, it is a little bit. I, I, I told our players. I mean, you look at all of them. Um, a lot of them score a lot of points. Most people don't get recruited because they're great defensive players. They get recruited because they can really score. And um, 
And I, I told them all. I said, I, I, there's probably a small number, but I'll just say there, there aren't many coaches in the country that everyone on, our, on your team has a green light, and I'm begging them to shoot it. And then they don't. And, but again, I, we've got to do a better job of that and articulating that. And, um, but, you know, we chart like everyone. I mean, you look at our numbers in practice and whatever. Um, they're, they're really good. We have kids that can make shots. I'm not, you know, you know, when I get my emails, you shoot too many threes. Yeah, no, we don't. We're going to keep shooting it. Sorry. We're going to keep shooting it. That's how we, that's who we are. That's what we embrace. Um, but we just get, we got to find a way to get them in um, a little bit better than we're doing. Coach, in the third quarter, it seemed like Iowa's transition game got a little bit more going. The defense kind of turned up a little notch. I guess what kind of turned the tide in that third quarter? Though? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we had a couple of live ball turnovers, which hurt. Um, uh, you know, I, I think, again, uh, you know, we, we went, you know, I think we missed six free throws in the third quarter. Um, uh, we had a couple, of, again, live ball turnovers and then a couple late shot clock situations. So, uh, yeah, they were really good in the third quarter. Um, obviously, we did not, but uh, that's a credit to them. How did Um, I, I don't think our ball movement was terrible. I, I thought we made – it's hard to get an assist unless someone makes a basket. Sure. Um, that, that, that's kind of a problem. Um, and I thought we were a little slow, and we worked on it really hard, and obviously not, not as well as we should. But we worked hard on getting balls out of double teams with Ash and, 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 and Steph, and we were just – it just seemed like we were hair late every time. It was – we kept talking about no dribble or one less dribble, and it just seemed like we were – we were caught in between too many times, and like I said, that's that's on me. That's not on them. They, we just have to be better at, at, at getting them in those situations. But I, I thought those were probably the two things that stuck out to me. What's going through your mind during that start of the first quarter, where it's just miss after miss? I mean, are you thinking like you're eventually gonna fight through it, or this could be a long night? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I I think when we were missing that many shots, you're just you're disappointed because. You know, that's – you're disappointed for everyone. The game kind of got a little ugly early. And, um, you know, I, I knew our kids would compete. I, you know, but it's just – it's frustrating because that's that's not who they are. And, and they, you know, they get a little excited and um, try a little too hard a little bit. But, you know, that's the game. I, I've sat in a lot of these things. You guys have sat in more, as many as me. And it's amazing how easy or – Whatever, when the ball goes in the basket, press conferences are a little bit easier um, historically. Uh, when it doesn't, you know, you take it, you give credit to the other team. Uh, they were fantastic defensively, and we've just, we got to keep moving forward. And we have three tough games left before Christmas, so we'll see how we do. But I love my team, I love our team. I love our team. And, and I, that's, uh, that's not even up for debate. I, I would not trade any of them for any one. They, they do things right. They represent our school. They played their guts out tonight. They're hurting, which is a good thing because they care. But um, we got beat by a really, really good team uh, in a tough environment. That's a credit to them. And uh, we've lost a few games over here in the past, and we've kind of rebounded from it and done OK. So uh, we'll be OK. You mentioned the physicality on defense. Is there anything noticeable that they might have been doing defensively that caused turnovers, especially those five second calls that rarely see, I guess, from the game? Yeah, no, I mean, they, they got up into us. They did a lot of switching, which was good. Um, they were physical on the ball. And, and when we got ourselves, I got, and it goes back to what I said about the double team, we were trying to get our kids and we practiced one less dribble and, and don't even get to that point. Uh, and then you get caught standing around watching. Um, and every every player does that at times, and you know that's something that we they were really good at, and we we were not, and that's a credit to them because uh, they caused some issues that you know I thought we were better prepared for. And again, that's that's my fault. We got to do that better, but uh, we'll fix it and, and be better for it. All right.